Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? We have 8 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power x equals to 30. From here, let's write this as 2 raised to power 3 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power x equals to 30. Then, here, we can interchange this power from the law of indices and this will be 2 raised to power x then raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power x then equals to 30 from here then here we have 2 raised to power x common so let's use a letter let's use a letter y now to represent 2 raised to power x then here in terms of y, this becomes y raised to power 3 plus y equals to 30. And we can take 30 to this side to form an equation. And this becomes y raised to power 3 plus y minus 30 equals to 0. Then from here, we can write minus 30 as minus 27 minus 3. And uh, here we now become y raised to power 3 plus y minus 27 minus 3 equals to 0. Then also we can group this together like this as is. We have y raised to power 3 minus 27 plus y minus 3 equals to 0. Then 27 can be written as 3 raised to power 3. So this becomes y raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3. Then plus y minus 3. Then equals to 0 from here. Then we have, let's group this together. And also this together. This first bracket follows the different difference of two key, that is, a cube minus b cube and this can be written as a minus b then into bracket a square plus a b plus b square then when we write this in that format it means we have y minus 3 here then into bracket y square my plus y times 3 that's 3y three then plus 3 square then plus here we have y minus 3 which is equals to 0 then in the next step we have y minus 3 common let's factor it out we have y minus 3 out then into bracket what is left here is y square plus 3y plus 3 squared as name then plus what is left here will be 1 then equals to 0 then from here we can write this again as y minus 3 then into bracket y square plus 3y plus 10 which is equals to 0 here we have two cases here we have y minus 3 equals to 0 or we have y square plus 3y plus 10 equals to 0 then on this side we have y equals to 3 and uh, we recall that we represented y as 2 raised to power x then we have 2 raised to power x now equals to 3 then from here we can take the log on both sides we have log 2 raised to power x equals to log 3 here. Then here, we apply the power law of logarithm. We take x to the back and we have x log 2 then equals to log 3 from here. Then let's divide both sides by log 2. Then divide this side as well by log 2. Log 2 cancel out here. We have x left. So x now equals to, here we have log 3 over log 2, we can write it as log 3 with 2 from 
change of base. So here we have the value of x on this side. Now on the other side, let's solve this quadratic equation. And uh, here we have the coefficient of y to be a, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c equals to 10. From the quadratic formula, we have y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac then over 2a. So this becomes y equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 then divided by 2 times 1. And from there we have y to be equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 40. 40 then over 2. Then 9 minus 40 there that's minus 31. So we have y to be equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 31 over 2. A minus 31 there can be written as root 31 half. So we have y equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 31 half. Then over 2. Here we have, you know, a complex number here. And uh, from here we have 2 raised to power x. It is a positive real number here. Which, you know, cannot be equal to minus 3 plus or minus root 31 i over 2. So here is not possible on this side. So the solution to this problem we have is x equals to log 3 base 2. Then let's check if this satisfies the equation given. So to check here, from what we have, we have 8 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power x equals to 30. Then here, x is log 3 base 2. So we have 8 raised to power log 3 base 2 plus 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is equals to 30 from here. Then let's change a to base 2 number. So we have 2 raised to power 3, that's 8. Then log 3 base 2 there. Then plus 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is equals to 30. Then let's take this 3 up. And then we can write this as 2 raised to power log. 3 raised to power 3 base 2 then plus 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 30 then now from this law of logarithm when we have x raised to power log x base y sorry this is x raised to power log you know y base x we have here x then here the base of the log x so here we can say this is equals to y from the law of logarithm then here that means here can just be written as 3 raised to power 3 then plus here as well we can write it as 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 equals to 30 then here 3 raised to power 3 same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 that's 27 plus here 3 is equals to 30 from here, 27 plus 3, that's of course 30. So we have 30 equals to 30 here. And the left hand side now equals to the right hand side. And we can conclude that x equals to log 3 base 2 satisfy this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class. Bye for now.